how to connect Arcnix single channel retrofit switch module. So it's pretty easy. So all you have to do is uh, get the live wire from your switchboard and the neutral wire from your switchboard, which is uh, from your main board, right? The input that is coming to your uh, switchboard where you're going to connect the module. Right? So what I've done, I've taken this uh, four channel like plastic module and I've given the neutral, which is the black wire, uh, right from the switchboard right, to this one. And I've also taken a similar thing for the live, so which is the red wire. So what it does is it basically I've shorted these connections. So what happens, all these four terminals access the live connection in here. And similarly, all these four terminals here access the neutral connection here, since I have shorted these two, right? So coming to the module again, module has, I mean, single channel module has uh, four terminals, four points majorly, L, L1, N, and S1. So ir irrespective of the channel, it could be like one, two, three, or four channel module, L and N are the basic inputs to the module. So where L stands for the live or line, and the N stands for neutral. So these two are the inputs, are the only inputs to the module, and rest all going to be the output from the module. Right, so what I've done, I've uh, taken a red wire from the input, right, from the live as you can see. So this live is from switchboard, and I've taken a red wire from here all the way, and I've given it to the L terminal of this module. So this acts as a live input to the module. Similarly, I taken a black wire from the neutral terminal, you know, from your switchboard, and I had given it all the way down to N in the module. So these two are the input connections to the module, which is done now. So the L1 is the output connection to the actual appliance. You might be controlling your fan or light or even the socket, right? So this one would be the output connection from the module where the power supply will be regulated and controlled by the module. So this goes to your appliance at home. So it could be light or fan as I said. I'm just taking this yellow wire, which indicates uh, this yellow bulb. So I just taken the same color wire to make it like uh, better, you know, for visibility purpose. And I've given the live wire for this yellow bulb right here in the L1. So it, from L1, the live uh, or the line supplied to the yellow bulb. It's supplied to the yellow bulb. And uh, we have one more terminal, which is S1. S1 would go to the switch. This is where most of the confusions would uh, come. So what should I do with my other terminal of the switch? Right, so I would strongly suggest to remove all the all the you know like wiring connections from your switches or uh, from your switch port which you are trying to control through the modules right so once everything is removed so you can just give this s1 one side of the switch and uh, the other side of the switch should be live it should be live for one and two channel modules and it should be the neutral for three and four channel modules so i'll repeat that again because that's really important so for one and two channel module you'll give s1 or s2 to the switch one side of the switch and the other side of the switch it should be live for three and four it should be S1 or S2 or S3, S4 one side and the other side should be neutral. So here, since this is a, a single channel module, I'll go ahead and give S1 here and I'm going to give a live from here to the other side of the switch. So it could be either side, you can give either on top or bottom. It has to be like, you know, these two connections. So you can uh, swap the sides, it, it, it wouldn't harm anywhere, right? So I'm just quickly giving this connection. Okay, now I had given a connection from S1, this blue color wire uh, from the module S1 to one side of the switch. And similarly, I had given a live, which I had, you know, like taken this from this module and I had given to the other side of the switch. So now the switch connection is done and the module connection is also done. The only thing that you have to ensure is the neutral wire of the appliance. So you have to ensure it is connected to the neutral terminal appropriately. So here I've already connected this to the neutral uh, plastic module in here. So you can see this uh, yellow wire, uh, I'm sorry, this black wire coming with the yellow has been already connected to the neutral terminal. So now all the connections are set. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, turn on the switch and see if the yellow bulb blows. So for reference, I've connected this to switch one. Uh, I've like numbered it from one to four. So this is one is connected to uh, switch one, as you can see. So I'm going to turn on the switch and then we'll see if the light blows. Now I connected the plug to the socket just for this reference. Uh, so you can turn on your mains at your house. So I'm just turning this on. And um, so you have to hold it a bit cautious because it's a live power supply. So I'm going to test the power supply whether it's coming down to L. 
Yeah, I could see the light glowing in the testing module. So yes, the power supply is on. So right now I can just uh, turn this switch on or off and see if, if the light is glowing. So I'm just pressing this one. Okay, so I've just turned off and the light is on. Now we can turn it off here and you can turn it on. So the reason why I said that this connection doesn't matter because you can control this from the Wi-Fi, you know, from the app. So you can turn it off from the app so the switch looks right. So you can also make it state synchronous and everything. So this can be controlled from the app. That's it. Thank you.